What's up, YouTube? Chris here with Trust 360 uh, First and foremost, I'd like to apologize for not uploading uh, frequently. I've been very busy with college, had three exams this week, and I have a presentation due Friday, so not really much time to upload. But I did find uh, just a quick, uh, quick little opening in my schedule to actually uh, push out a video for you guys. I've actually been wanting to make this one for a while for the people that actually do host online. Um, to keep you keep you guys safe while you are hosting. Now, uh, Microsoft has taken it upon themselves to ban all consoles associated to an IP address that the modded console is on. Um, this is very very bad in terms uh, on, on their end because the, in turn uh, of you getting your RGH banned, you can also get all of your retail consoles banned in your house. Um, these are not just your consoles. This is maybe your brother's or sister's console or even your family console or something like that so th that's not something that we want and we can still want to host of course that's you know while you while you all are here and this is why I continue to make these videos because I do love modding online and things like that but I want to take all the necessary steps um, so this is a, a quick method on how to protect your IP address using a VPN uh, which stands for virtual private network and it's relatively inexpensive. Now there are free ways to do this guys but they're not really that safe. Most free VPNs actually log everything that you do so it's stored on their server so that's not something you want as well when surfing anonymously. Um, so I did uh, find this one VPN. I've actually been using this for uh, about six months now. It's called Earth VPN. Um, their lowest plan is, I believe, four dollars a month, which is very inexpensive. That's all you need is the starter package. I, of course, pay for extra add-ons just because I, you know, use those. Um, so uh, again, uh, I use Earth VPN. This is four dollars a month. Um, so you can go ahead and click sign up if you're wanting to go ahead and do this now. And um, once you have an account on here and you did purchase it you just go ahead and click sign in and as you can see we have our uh, information here um, so once you do have it um, just go ahead and go ahead and download the uh, client that they have I think I believe it's under the setup um, I believe and there are tutorials here on how to set up on all operating system and this is the client software which is what you're gonna need so I'm on Windows 7 so I'll just click download here and download it. Now there are two ways to setting up your VPN after you do have that downloaded. The, uh, the first way is how to set up a virtual private network specifically on Windows. I'm going to show you how to do that first and I'm going to show you the second way which is the easiest. Now um, you're probably asking why am I doing the extra steps uh, when there's only you know essentially one step needed. Well this is just to get you acclimated to how a VPN works as well as how to set one up if you ever need to in the future and you're not using a service like this. So what you're going to do, just go ahead and click on your start menu here and then go to your control panel. You'll click on network and internet and then go to network and sharing center. And then right here you need to click set up a new connection or network. From here you're going to go ahead and click connect to a workplace and click next. And as you can see I already have mine here. Um, I'll just click uh, no, create a new connection. I'm going to click next use internet connection VPN and when it has internet address you can actually go over here and there's a VPN server list I'll have this link in the description for you guys as well these are all the servers that earth VPN uses and this is how you connect to them manually so you'll scroll down here and uh, keep in mind when you are wanting to choose a server choose one that's near you you know usually you'd want to do something far away that way you're more anonymous but with this you do want something close that way you'll be able to connect to it and have better speeds when you're online so just go ahead and find the server that you want I'm gonna to connect to New York this is the one that I use pretty frequently and we're just gonna go ahead and copy that address now you need to go back up here to the setup and you're just gonna paste that in there and then you're just gonna choose what uh, the name that you want uh, VP connections fine with me and then do not connect now just set it up so I can connect later so just go ahead and click next and here's where you're going to enter your credentials that you have on um, excuse me on earth VPN um, so I'm of course not going to show you can also remember this password I don't recommend that I mean, if you know your login credentials you should be good and as you can see the connection is ready to use you can either connect now or close what you're going to do you just go ahead and click close 
and we're going to minimize this window here. And if we go to manage wireless networks, oh, excuse me, uh, sorry, change uh, change adapter settings, that's what you want to look at. As you can see, we have VPN connection here, so you need to go ahead and right click on it, click on properties and then you're going to go over here to options and here what you want to do redial attempts set this to 99 just something really high up and then what you want to do is click PP settings and make sure enable LCP extensions is the only one checked once you do that just go ahead and click OK go over security and we're going to choose PT, PPTP protocol Now this is one of the less secure but it does uh, help you connect a lot quicker which is you know really what we want and on data encryption just go ahead and click maximum strength encryption and then uncheck challenge handshake protocol once you do that just go to networking and you're going to want to uncheck this one this one and this one so the only one we want checked is IPv4 through the TCP protocol and then when you're over here on sharing you're going to want to ahead and click allow others to use this connection and then I'll just click OK through this and you're gonna choose your local area connection now this is the Ethernet port on your computer what we're gonna be doing is taking an Ethernet cord connecting it from our computer to our console so we're essentially routing our connection from our, like from our console through our computer so it's really a lot quicker to do it this way rather than just connecting wirelessly and again this is needed for the VPN so just click that and click OK now once you click OK, as you can see over here, it does say disconnected, shared, and using PPTP. So now that we have that set up, you can just go ahead and right click on that and click connect. And it will connect if you are entered your credentials correctly, and you'll be able to use that. Um, so I'm just going to right click on this really quick and click connect. And as you can see, it is going to ask us for a password. So I'm just going to input that there. And then we're going to click connect. Now once it verifies our username and password, it should register, register us on the network and then assign us an IP address. As you can see, we are connected to this and it is shared, so we're able to share that with our consoles. If you go down here under uh, your, uh, excuse me, I drew up a blank, under your network panel, you can see we are connected to our VPN. As you can see, I do have this other one here. This is what we're going to use for the next part of this tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on disconnect. And if you follow those steps, you're pretty much ready to go and connect online using your IP address uh, that has been masked. But I'm going to show you a little bit of an easier way to do this. So we're just going to right click on this one. I'm going to go ahead and delete this since I'm not going to use it. And as you can see, we have this one up here. And I'm going to pull this over to the side so you can kind of see what's going on. And we're going to start the Earth VPN software that we downloaded earlier in this tutorial. So here, it'll again, it'll prompt you for your username and password. You're going to choose your protocol, your country, and your server. Now, as you can see, New York, New York 2 through 5. Uh, New York was the first one that we connected to. So we're just going to go ahead and click Connect. Now, when you do this, as you can see over here, it's connecting. This was actually generated by the uh, software itself so it does set up a VPN connection on your computer as you can see down here it is, says we are connected using this IP address so if we minimize this here kinda just go over here as you can see we do have internet access on our earth VPN and we are connected now as you can see here you may not have this a prompt may come up asking what type of connection to use just make sure you use a public connection if we go over here and everything works correctly we should be able to browse on the internet and it should be using the IP address that we masked. So as you can see it is browsing that's perfect and if we go over here to ipchicken.com we should have this address so I'm just gonna copy this in here really quick and I'm gonna go to trace my IP or iptracker.org we're gonna go ahead and input this IP address here and then we're going to click trace IP with IP tracker. Now, once you do that, we're just going to scroll down here. And if all done correctly, it should be routing us through New York. And as you can see, it is. So the VPN is working. So, like I said, just in case you guys didn't catch it earlier in the video, make sure you do have an Ethernet cord for this. You're just going to plug that into your computer. Uh, make sure your connection is shared. Plug that into the back of your RGH console. And when you connect, you should be connecting through your wired network and uh, using your spoofed IP address. 
So guys, hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, it's kind of a quick tutorial, but uh, hopefully you got all the information you need. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, make sure to go down in the description uh, below. Excuse me, the comments below. Just uh, leave a comment. Uh, let me know. Also, you can shoot me a private message. Uh, I don't check those as much, so the comments or my Skype would be the best ways to contact me if you have any questions. I'll make sure to leave my username in the description for my Skype as well. So yeah, again, again, hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.